The um, initial attack was right here at this corner here. I took a few pictures of the park and then I was uh, near the corner behind me and took two pictures of the uh, two streets here. And at that point, um, I put my camera away and kept walking and a young man on a skateboard rode up to me and started pushing me and hitting me like that. You know, and then uh, then I went back and I, I went, you know, held my hands up. Okay. Yeah, and, and then it was like, like, because he's a yeah, he's a big guy, so it's like, you know, just like that. And because I was by myself, I think people thought like, oh, no one's going to hear about this, no one's going to see it. At that point, he had hit me a couple times. I took out my camera and videotaped him hitting me, and I said, you know, you don't have to do this, stop. And at that point, I was tackled by uh, someone else who I didn't see. And after I was tackled, uh, I was very bloody on my hands and stuff because I had hit the pavement. And then there were more people around. And then I wasn't sure um, what was going to happen next. So I ran maybe about a block toward the front of the Discovery Center. And at that point, I was surrounded by uh, witnesses said 10 people. And then I was uh, tackled again and hit a few times. And shortly after that, uh, an ambulance came was the next thing that uh, I knew. The hospital described it as a laceration to my um, eye, as well as some cuts and bruises, and some uh, like bruises to my ribs. I, I don't hold any grudges. I was never angry, and I never hit back. To me, it wasn't a personal thing, and it still isn't. Uh, I try to lead a humble life, and I'm grateful for um, my health, and I'm grateful for the people around me. And I hope that the people who were involved can enjoy those same things in life. The state needs to come here and really be a little more forceful in getting people into shelters. They really have to employ a little bit more of tough love. And I'm really confident that the people who go through the shelter system, it's not real easy, but it's necessary. And they can get out of homelessness because we've seen this. It's just the getting people to act is the tough part.